Hi everybody, this tutorial is brought to you by Livingston at Large Photography. Probably the most asked question I get is how do you make a signature file to go on your photographs and we're going to do that today. We're going to make a permanent file not just adding text to a photograph. This is something you'll be able to keep and use it all the time. It's very easy to do. We start with a new file, so file, new, blank file. I have a long name so I'm going with 500 pixels wide by 50 pixels high. I would give yourself plenty of room because you can always crop it later. We're going to title it Signature Black. And the reason we're doing that, and we'll probably even spell it right, is that uh, we're going to make a black one and a white one so if you have a photograph with a light background you'll have a signature. If you have a photograph with a black background you'll have a signature. And I'm going to put the year in because I change it every year. Click OK. Now you've got that white background. That's actually in Elements Transparent, and we're going to make sure we save it that way. Pick yourself a font. I like Papyrus. I've got a good size in here, 24 point, and my color is black. So then we start with the text. Click on the text block. Click in the box. And if you want a copyright symbol, on a Mac, it is Alt-G. On a PC, it is uh, Control-Alt-C. And there you get your symbol in that text. Add your name or whatever you want to be putting on your photographs. And I put the year. It just helps me a little bit. Now, I click out of the box. I've got it in there. I'm going to crop it down to what I something that I like and I can work within a photograph. And click OK. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go save as Signature Black 2011 and notice I'm saving it as a PSD. If you save it as a JPEG, then the background will be white and you'll have a big white block on your photograph and you won't want that so click save. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make this uh, a white one and save it at the same time so I'm gonna come over here and click in the text box to bring the the uh, wording back up again. I'm gonna come up to the color box drop it down pick white click on the green box OK. Now it looks like nothing's in there because the background default is white but it's there don't worry about it file, save as. I'm going to save it as a white signature and drop that edited out because I changed the name. Notice I'm still saving it as a PSD and I click save. So I'm going to sign out here and bring back up the black signature. So you go into wherever you saved it when you have a picture open and you bring up your signature and I'm going to bring back bring up a photograph to put it on of my trusty dog polar bear. I like this one because it has a very light background. Now I'm going over to the signature. I'm going to go up to layer, duplicate layer, and down to the, where I want it and I want it to go on Polly the snow dog. So I click OK. Now when I go back to polar bear, there it is, and I don't want it there. So I'm going to do Command T. Uh, if you want to come up here, you can go Image and Transform, Free Transform. But I like this hotkey. Grab the thing. Grab, <laughs> grab your signature. Move it to where you want it, and you can resize it. Click OK. Now that's a little dark for that picture. I'm not sure I really want it quite that bold, so I'm going to come over here and lower the opacity down by about down to about 45, which I happen to like that right there. Click OK, and then go up and save the picture the way you want it, and you're done. You've got everything that you need, and you can use that over and over on any file that you want. Come see us at Livingston at Large Photography.